How's it going guys? It's Josh here. So today, as it's been requested by quite a few people, I'm going to be showing you the main differences between US and UK layout keyboards. And I'm also going to show you how to change your keyboard layout on your PC should you need to. And we're going to do this in two minutes or less. Here we go. So the biggest difference visually is the enter key. Now on a US layout keyboard, it's just a rectangle as you can see. Uh, whereas on the UK layout, it takes up two rows and is narrower to make room for the hash key. Remember, the UK layout has the pound symbol right here, where the hash would normally be. The second most noticeable difference is the number 2. So on the US layout, it's the at symbol, whereas the UK layout swaps this for the speech mark. These keys literally just swap places. The tilde key, which is normally here on a US layout keyboard, is moved to the hash key, uh, which, as we said earlier, is actually an extra key added on this row since the enter key is uh, narrower here. The tilde is replaced with this key right here, which I've literally never used. The backslash is found here on a US layout, again because of that smaller enter key. On the UK layout, the backslash is moved to next to the Z key. You'll notice the left shift key is actually shorter on a UK layout to accommodate this. And then the final difference, the right alt on a US layout is just a normal alt, whereas the UK layout has alt GR or alt graph which is for typing special characters on the keyboard, for example, the uh, Euro symbol. So that's the differences. Now to show you how to change the layout in Control Panel. So go to Control Panel, click Change Input Methods, go to Options, click Add an Input Method, choose which one you want. I've chosen United Kingdom. Click Add, click Save, and you are done. You can then switch between them whenever you want by simply clicking this layout button right here in the taskbar. It's useful if you need to type the pound symbol while using a US layout keyboard. And there we go, the differences between US and UK layout keyboards in two minutes or less. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Drop us a like if it was helpful. Subscribe for more stuff like this. I'm going to be doing a video on which layout I think is better, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching today, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.